Okay, so if they're going in, so what did Kim do while all this was going on? Nothing. Sat there. Hmm. There's articles that said that Cassie was saying that, you know, Cassie was basically Diddy's slave. And that whatever he wanted to do, he would do. He would fight with her friends, argue in her face, do all this stuff. And she would just, you know, pretty much take it, you know? Do you see similarities in the way Kim Porter acted that you saw in the way what Cassie described her experience to be? I, I don't know what Cassie, how she acted around her. I, I'm only... Uh, could proceed like when she cut her hair off because young jock said uh paul said i want you to cut your hair and she does it um i don't think he had that type of control over kim like that i think kim did the things that she kind of liked to do and she got caught up in doing the same things that he liked to do because she liked women too okay so what about all these things of saying that, like, there were so many girls around Diddy that a lot of them were, like, young, you know? Like, little girls that didn't have any business being there, high school students and whatnot. Like, what was that thing where, girl, like, little girls were going in and out? You ever witnessed that or seen anything like that? Or? Other than those girls that was in the studio with Ms. Lopez that night, they all look of age or some young. I, I don't know that you know, you don't ask for nobody ID. The only girl that I could ever say that was young and she had to be over 18 or 18 years old, and that was Kim's babysitter. Of Christian. Girl, Lisa baby. She was from what? That was one of them. Wow. After Kim I, found out. I, I knew she was about 18. In New York State, it's 17 years old. Uh, it's legal. But I knew she was about 17 to 18 years old. Last question. When he was with, when Kim found out about the babysitter, did the babysitter stay or did Kim fire her? I don't know if she ever found out. Uh-oh. Okay, I mean, that's a good one. Very, very last question. What's your take on Mace, Mark Curry, Roger Vaughn, now coming out with their experience? What they experienced with the I don't have any take on, you know, what those guys are doing or how they doing it. I didn't have no reason, no monetary gain for doing this. What he did, you know, to people that I love, and he claimed that he loved them too. You know, I was making a work of it. Your love was uh, minuscule. It was, it was monstrous, bro, because the things that you did to those people and you still go on air and you claim that you love them. You know, I was letting people know, nah, that's no, it don't go down like that. It ain't you, you you're wrong. The way you did certain things. So um what they do it and why they do it, they have to answer that to they have to answer that. You know, I don't care why they did it, or I don't I don't care nothing about, you know, how they put it, how they tell their story. That's their story. It has nothing to do with Gene Deal. Definitely. When you say that puppy's love was monstrous, so people that you care about, what do you mean? The thing they did to to uh, get BMF and Wolf are uh, going at each other. You understand what I'm saying? Like what? Like we spoke to uh, him. He promised Wolf his three hundred some thousand dollars. He told Wolf he didn't need Wolf anymore. I don't need you no more. I don't want you dealing with you no more. And Miss Jones, Wolf mother, and I hate to talk about this, but you know, these are the questions people ask me. Miss Jones let me hear the fact that the investigator said that they had all their phones tapped. And Puff told Meach when Meach was calling Puff to say, Yo, man, get your man. He bugging. You know what I'm saying? Before Wolf was even dead, he bugging, man. We're trying to, and, and, and Puff's words was, Bruh. Do what you got to do. How you say that to your friend? How you say that to your man? Somebody who been there for you that's made sure that you was all right. How do you do that? Why did you do that? Yeah. Wolf ended up getting killed that night. You know what I'm saying? To a, a guy worrying. It, it's, just, it's just stories after stories after story. And 
I, I got enough. For, enough is enough, bro. And that's what this was all about. And had I known that he was going to get his just dessert with Cassie and some of the other people that's coming out, mm -hmm. my status in the streets, my status in what I did here in New York City, I wouldn't have never did it. I wouldn't have never said a word. But I didn't know none of this stuff was going to transpire. Yeah. I did it on my own. You did. You, to your credit, you 100% did. Let me ask you a question about the whole, whole situation. Is this the last one or the one before the last this one? Is, before the last this one? is a Two. very, very, very... Listen, let me just ask a little question and I'll go. I'll hit you up with some more on that. We, we talk, don't worry. I got you. But uh, with the Wolf situation, um, so with Wolf, what was Puppy's relationship with Wolf? How did they come together? And why was it so treacherous for him to be like, yo, you got to do it? Aside from the fact that it's messed up, I don't want to say that. But like, could you just like, what they came up and their relationship and why Puppy owed Wolf so much? All right, Wolf was with Christopher Williams and Heavy D and them working for security and you know, you know, stuff for them before Puff was even in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But Wolf was part of this crew called Butt Naked. They used to give parties, right? But other than that, they were street entrepreneurs that two of the individuals got arrested. And they received nine 16 to life sentences in the courts. Oh, wow. All right. The people in Virginia did not know Wolf. So Wolf took it to trial and beat it. So now Wolf, they, he was a part of that team, but naked, they used to finance Puff and his artists. You understand? Before when Puff lost the job at Uptown Records. He still had to finance Craig Mack, Biggie, and try to get this to before he got to deal with the uh, uh, Clyde Davis. One of them used money through Bad Boy with Puff, Ooh. right? Okay, how? Keep him, keep, 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 keep him, keep his status. So now, when Corey goes to jail, Puff is the one that's hitting Wolf off. You know, the I mean, when Corey goes on the run. Puff is the one that hit Wolf off with the paper bags to make sure Cup uh, Corey can still be on the run. Oh. Corey gets caught. He start doing his time. Puff don't want to pay no more. But Wolf made sure he paid and made sure Lamont and Corey had their commissaries and they still got kids out here. So they had to make sure their kids was all right too and do some of that. A lot of that money was coming from Wolf. Wolf said, yo, I had $300,000 that I spent. I was right there in the office when Puff promised him, when I do this universal deal, I'm going to give you your money. Huh. Wolf didn't see that deal. He just said, no, you ain't getting it. No. BMF ended up killing who was his friend was Puff. How long between him saying, I'm not giving you that money, and Wolf passing away do you think that? I don't, I don't know the dates. But it wasn't long at all. It wasn't long at all. Because Wolf said, you know, I was I don't understand why Wolf would say what he said. He said, yo, I'm gonna show you them niggas ain't who you think they are, you know. And the dude that Wolf put down as a gunman to BMF is the dude that killed Wolf. Oh wow. A dude that he put what him. That's I think it was Big Beach, right? Meach didn't kill him, but Meach, it was the it was the fight that he had with Oh, that's right. Meach was there at the gun. But they said that it happened over a girl at the club, or do you think that might have just been an excuse? No, no, no. It had something to do with her, but Wolf had that. That girl was about six weeks pregnant with Wolf's child, and people don't know that. She was six weeks pregnant with Wolf's child. That's the same girl that fought off of Wolf $10,000 to have sex with. And Wolf got mad for, yo, I should have let you have sex with the D-I-T-C-H. But she came over there and knocked Wolf's hat off his head. So Wolf goes over there to check her. Meech get involved with her because this girl is with a friend of Meech that he's about to do some business with. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But 
they throw Wolf out the club. Him and Ransom, they throw them out the club. So it led to one thing, led to another. Meach tried to come out and talk to Wolf, add some words. Meach and somebody else got shot in the leg, and Meach got shot in the buttocks. And one of the dudes that Wolf knew got close enough because Wolf thought, because since I know you, even though I put you down with being more meth, I, well, I told Meach to put you down because you was like that in the street. He ended up shooting Wolf and killing him. Yeah, man, so really. what, when did he get the call about, yo, get your boy? Was that what the day? called him while he was in the club, you know, going in the back of the club. Meach called Puff. What? And this is what Mama Jones is letting me hear from the investigators through their wiretapping. What? Yo, Diddy got a problem then. That slowed down. And he said, do what you got to do. And the next thing you know, that was last night anybody off the wall. Yep. And Riz. And Riz. So how did Diddy act in the days after that came to pass? How did Diddy what? How did he act after when Wolf was assassinated? They reached the party. What? When Meach got out of jail, he gave Meach a party. What? What did everybody say about that? Like the people, because you know everybody do. Like, how do you do that with no shame? I don't know. I had a conversation with Meach myself. We met in Cancun. He was in the presidential suite at the, um, what you call it, Rich Carlton. He invited me down to the room. Big man, come on down to the room, man. I said, Meech, listen here, brother. We was all family. We was all cool. I don't know what happened between you and Wolf. And I didn't know the conversation he had with Pop at the time until Mama Jones told me later. I said, what happened with you and Wolf? That's two men dealing with shit. But I can't drink with you no more, bro. He shook my hand. I shook his hand. And that was it. Wow. Now that looks wild and sad and just like, that's evil. That is evil.